Well hello there all you cichlid and fish enthusiasts. Figured it was time for me to make another fish room video. It may get a little long. I'll try and whip through these pretty quick, but yet still give you an idea of what we got going on. This tank is inside. Right now we're currently housing six ornatums one electric blue jack Dempsey and a geophagus ultrafron four Rio mag umbies one grow out trimac and a little Stalsbergy. see if we can get a little closer without spooking them These ornatums are some seriously slow growers. Once we're done here, we'll cruise over, take a look at my breeding pair of wild caught Peruvian feste. They actually have a batch inside their pot right as we speak. They just hatched yesterday. See if we can get Dad to come up to the front and see his colors change. I apologize for all the light in the background. Mom Gardner New Fry. Come on over, Dad. Maybe she'll get him to color up. See if I can irritate him. Come say hi. There he comes. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the little guys inside. head to my bedroom where we have a bunch of one of my pairs of wild caught red devils this is all the fry from my new wild caught big lipped female barred red devil I know it's a mouthful and then my big male, white orange, piebald, creamsicle, whatever you want to call it, in big lip male. I'll show you those two out there. I also have another batch that was of my two wild caught red males and red female, sorry, just one male, that I got from Raps. The barred blue female I got from Raps also. And then the other batch is of my large male, my creamsicle male, along with a barred red female that I picked up three years ago. So this batch again is from my red male. I take it back. I'm reading the tank now. I write on all my fry tanks so I don't get confused. So this is my red male and my red female that I picked up from Raps. And again, when I get to their tank, I'll show you who they are. Behind me, let's 
See if I can get back far enough so we can uh, see. I've got seven Kakisha Spectabilis grow outs. Some of my F1 grow outs from my Peruvian pair that you saw inside. About four Burmese border loaches. Four of your Geophagus redhead ultrafrons. Sorry, not ultrafrons, redhead tapajos. And I also have about six, eh, four inch or smaller grow out plecos. We got an L14 in here, an L114, an L52, an L24, and I believe, I don't remember what the uh, the queen is, but I got a queen arabesque in here also. All of these guys are yeah, three to four inches. I do have one of my red Islitas fry that survived. Didn't know that he was in here. I used him as food because my red Islitas are just like clockwork. Every three and a half weeks, they're putting down another two to three thousand eggs. All right, into the garage or what I like to call the fish room. Right here is my big male red devil and his barred red female, all of their fry. Right next to them is some RTM fry I picked up from uh, a friend of mine. There's one of the biggest RTM males. Oh, I shouldn't say male, grow out. To the right over here, again, more of the red. Uh, this uh, fry, it looks like it's my big male and my barred blue female. And that's all their fry. These are Red Devil fry also. In this tank, I picked up some wild caught ornatums that are looking absolutely amazing. And they're in quarantine right now. And over here is hiding. So we can get it to come out. There we go. Where are you at there? There it is. Teeth on these guys are amazing. See if we can zoom into his mouth. All right, and then down below is a pair of hogas, Ampelopus hoga boomerum. I love saying that name. Up there is a big male. Over there looks like mom, female, prepping the pot. These are one of my favorite amps. These, the Red Devils and the Red Islitas, are just my absolute favorite. Okay, we're going to cruise over here, another quarantine tank, 
in here we have 10 electric blue, not, not the electric blue, we got the blue jean Jack Dempsey's. And the colors in these guys at about two inches are just absolutely amazing. And these guys are in quarantine also. Hopefully in a couple weeks I'll be picking up some electric blues, get them growing out. So we can start uh, our electric uh, blue jean Jack Dempsey uh, project. Just love the colors on these guys. Alright, and on top of them, I have to zoom out to see the whole thing. Another miscellaneous tank. That big guy you see right up front. It's a big male black umby. Right next to it is an F1 real mag umby. I'm hoping it's a female. Also in here is a pair of I hope I'm going to say it right, is the Coats of Colchis, uh, four Melanurus, and four Heterospilus. One very large Zonatus that pretty much keeps peace. There's a female Coatsa. It's Melanurus. Here comes the big Zonatus. And he's so mellow to the smaller fish. He just acts as a peacekeeper, minds his own business, and just goes about his just goes about his duties. Let's see if we can zoom in on the colors on this big male. The blues in him are just awesome. Again, I apologize for the lights now in the background, making viewing a little difficult. Somebody in here is a little uh, testy. A lot of the fish have little nips in their fins. More than likely it's the umby, so I'm going to have to probably pull them. But this Coatza has tried to spawn with her male three times now. And uh, if you notice, her fans look beautiful. Kind of wondering if she might be the culprit. All right, we turn the corner here. In here, we got a breeding pair of uh, Hartwiggy. There's male and female. There's the female. Back in the back is my old girl. She's the oldest fish in the in the family. That's a big female heterospilus. She pretty much hangs out there. Doesn't do much of anything, but hangs out in her little area. She's a big girl. Coming to the front now is a big old bifasciatus. In the corner over here is my big, my original male, Oga. And his female is in the pot, so I'm assuming they probably have eggs in there also. We also have a pair of festae in here. There's the female. The male's probably down in the pot. Like uh, the male's been a little aggressive with her. I put them in here because the male was being very aggressive. Usually when I add the pair, add a pair to a community tank with larger fish, 
it mellows out that male quite a bit. And he tends to uh, leave her alone. Looks like he got a hold of her a couple of times though. This female is available to anybody local and I may entertain the idea of shipping. Right next to them is my big boy. This is my big wild caught dovi pair. It's a Costa Rican blue dovi. He is pushing about 21 inches right now. About nine inches tall, eight to nine inches tall. His female is easily 15 inches herself. I was surprised I got their glass as clean as I did. They, uh, I have a few pairs in here that are not very, uh, not very uh, kind to me cleaning the inside of the glass, cleaning the algae off. Looks like she wants to spawn again. She usually does that and starts pecking him in the stomach when she wants to spawn. This pair is also available. If anybody's uh, looking to purchase, again locally, shipping a 21 inch fish and a 15 inch fish is not the easiest thing to do. And when I say local, I'm here in Washington State. Below them is a 150 gallon pond. I don't think we're going to be able to see anything. Just have more of my feste grow outs from the pear inside. And behind us is my red Texas male. And in there with him is one of my barred blue females, uh, red devils, or blue devil. Uh, she is not the one that actually spawned and produced the fry over there. Though it looks like she may be trying to spawn with this guy. They're just in here just because I have nowhere else to put her. And this guy also is available. He's about 10 inches. Anyone willing to uh, pay the money for him? Up above is my Red Devil tank. We'll cruise over here because right now this is my big creamsicle male. He's 13 inches and inside the pot is my barred blue female wild caught and it looks like they've uh, actually got some eggs in there again. It'd be cool if we can get her to come out because her colors are awesome. There she is up inside there. And I know you want to guard her. Maybe you can push her out of there. Come on. And she is poking her eye out. Look at those lips on her. Come on out, little girl. All right. Over here is my red male. He's actually orange, but closer to red than orange. But really bright. I have a female in here, which is probably... There she is in the pot. Uh, she just disappeared. And that's the pair that has all the fry in my bedroom. And then that big male and this barred female are the ones, her spawning colors, her red comes out really well. Are the ones with all the fry around the corner there. And here we also have a male Carpentus, Bontahilo. couple of red devils that uh, I purchased a while ago which I'm questioning 
are actually red devils. I'm thinking they're more like a Midas. Because they just... They may have that red devil face, but... And the body, but the colors... I don't know. I was told that the parents are both orange. Oh, there's the female for that other male. And all these uh, new ones all have the big lips. Spent years looking for them. Jeff Raps finally got a handful in and I had to get four of them. All right, now over here is the big 400. This was a huge grow out tank for me. And it's definitely done its job because they've all grown out. We've got uh, several Bradori, some Coltsococcus, a different type of Bifasciata species, Grimodes, three Grimodes, a couple of Ratisma. Robert Sonai. Right there is a Melanurus. Some big uh, clown loaches. Geophagus wine melleri. Here's the head of uh, one of the Grimodes. And several different types of Polypterus. You got a Wixie, Palmus Poly, Palmus Palmus, a Retropanus, Ornate, a uh, Bimbi, assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. A couple of little rainbow fish. Believe it or not, I've had those rainbow fish for three and a half years. They just kind of hang out and do their own thing, and they've been doing just fine in here. There's one of the bigger Robert Sonai. Got a couple of uh, the Microthalmus in here and Godmonis. So maybe we can see them if we uh, wrap around the other side. It's a gutilatus. Here comes one of the smaller micros. It's a smaller microthalamus. There's a big microthalamus. Ah, zoom out of there so we can actually see them. My large male and female, here comes a Godmani. My large male and female Grimodes are absolutely beautiful. They don't normally come out very much. They kind of stay behind that big old tree back in that pot. They don't come out very often. Alrighty. And behind me is my big Vieja Parathoraps tank which we all know are now reclassified. I guess there's a Herectes in here also. Up top is by male Bacorti. Down here we've got a piebald female Finistratus. And a blue redhead male, John with my big Argentia male. Believe it or not, this here is a different species, or I shouldn't say that, a different variant to the Bifasciatus. Back there behind the Godmani, 
couple of regani. Here's my female Argentia. Here comes the Bifos. Large Sinspillum. And the female Bacorti came up to say hi. Again, I told you this was going to be long. I can't believe it's been 25 minutes. I'm sure I'm boring you guys. We got just a couple more. Down here is my Red Azletus pair. Yes, hey big guy. Again, like I said, one of my favorite fish. See if he'll let me pet his head. Come here. Come on. No, come on. Come on. All right. There's the little lady in the back. And let's see if we can get a look at their. Uh, oh, there's their pile. There's their most recent hatches. And on the back, if Dad would get out of the way, are some of their other fry that I haven't been able to catch. That's my big male red Islitus Amphilophus. Above them is my wild caught Ecuadorian male Feste. And he's got himself a female in here finally, but she likes to hide. So they're hiding in a log. She's got a, a little hole there to come through in the divider when she wants. Yeah, she's down there. It's too bad. And then the last is my fry rack. In here in the middle are some, uh, I had a pair of Catamaco Fenestratus. Here's some of what's left of there as grow outs. Those heart wiggy that I showed you, some of their fry are in here growing out. Right there we got a heart wiggy. There's a couple more in the middle. And I got a couple of the head of spilas in here also. Down below are all my black umby fry. Also available here. Averaging about one inch in length. All these fish in the middle are available also. Up top we have red azletus fry about one inch. Down here we have red azletus fry one and a half to two inch along with some piebald fenestratus fry. And down below is some of my F1 Feste fry. Anywhere from two inch to three inch. And also available. In the upper topper, upper topper, uh, top tank here is actually my Pleco tank. And usually when I buy some of these exotic plecos and they're small, I'll throw them in this tank with all the wood. I also have, again, some feste grow outs in here. There's about 12. Just kind of keeping the uh, plecos company. Well, that little guy right there has some red fins already. You can see the shadows of the silhouettes of the plecos can't really see them too well. The green phantom down there, the goldie up underneath. There's a gold nugget. Queen Arabisk is inside. It's a blue panique up underneath there also. Anyway, I'm going to stop boring you guys and taking up any more of your time. I really hope that you uh, sat through this entire video. If you didn't, well, I hope you just kind of sped forward and got the gist of uh, all the different tanks. If there's anything you want me to take a uh, video of or you want any information of, any particular fish on its own, please let me know. Alright, thanks for stopping by everybody. Have a good one.